Recently downlinked images from Ingenuity show the precision maneuvers needed to capture stunning color images of the shattered entry capsule and crumpled parachute. These and an Ingenuity update on this episode of Mars Guy. On February 18th, 2021, Perseverance and Ingenuity entered the Martian atmosphere cocooned inside a capsule. A parachute further slowed the supersonic descent until the heat shield could be released, followed a little later by the rover and its jetpack. The parachute and back shell would crash to the Martian surface at nearly 80 miles per hour. Here's a more recent view from the high-rise camera showing how the wind folded over some of the parachute. Ingenuity's 26th flight involved a carefully planned path around the wreckage collecting 10 high-resolution color images that might provide insight about the system's performance. Here's a stadium for scale. Ingenuity has a black and white nav cam that looks straight down. I'm showing the orientation that aligns with the color camera, which looks about 70 degrees up toward the top of this scene. This makes it look like Ingenuity is flying sideways. Here's the transition into the rocky Sita terrain, and here's the first color image with Mars Guy for scale in the gap of the disc gap band design of this supersonic parachute. Someday, all of the pieces from this crash site will be viewed not like this, but like this, dishes from the Titanic that now are in a museum. Or at the very least, there'll be souvenirs from the early years of Mars exploration, like pieces of the Wright Flyer one of which is glued to Ingenuity. It reached the first corner of the flight path and shot a color image about halfway through its rotation. Then it finished the 90 degree turn and resumed the sideways flying. Here's the closest view it got of the parachute. Next up is the first good view of the shattered back shell. It's also a great view of the now fading spray of what is probably lighter toned dust. Ingenuity reached the second corner of its flight path and executed a turn and a shot that was just a bit early, managing to cover up some of the back shell with its foot. Fortunately, in the next position, which is the closest it got to the back shell, Ingenuity had a clear shot and even managed to get its shadow in the view the next best thing to a selfie. And note that what looks like four portals in the back shell are where the navigation thrusters once were before impact. This next sequence is shown in real time with the nav cam finally getting some great shots of the back shell. The color image is probably the most dramatic one with the shattered back shell at the center of its debris field along with the parachute and Ingenuity's shadow. Ingenuity executed its final turn to depart the scene, flying over boulders at the contact with the Sita terrain. From this perspective, it's clear that the back shell happened to land right on these big rocks, contributing to the carnage. Flying backwards along its departure route allowed Ingenuity to catch one last long view of the crash site providing a sense of context for this event, which was pretty minor in the vast, untouched landscape of Mars. Then Ingenuity flew on toward the landing zone, with its last color shot dominated by sand ripples, including the strange tuning fork version that it landed on. On June 6th, the chief pilot announced that one of Ingenuity's sensors had failed thanks to the extreme overnight cold temperatures it has to endure now without enough power for its survival heaters. The ever resourceful engineers have a solution and a required software patch that was already coded up before Ingenuity even got to Mars. Now they have to recommission Ingenuity for flight. If successful, its 29th flight is still a possibility.